Just look at it. Just look at it. I said, look at it. Look at it. It's the beautiful Californian sky. So yes, we have arrived safely in Los Angeles, which is basically a hell of a place because we don't have a car, so we're kind of dependent on everything that has a car, except for us. That made no sense, but don't blame me. LA is annoying and it fucks my language up. Which brings me to the next subject. Yerona! Hi! Hi, right in front of the Hollywood sign. Look at that. Cool. What are we gonna do? Take selfies. <laughs> you gotta love the Dutch, don't you? Oh, look at that. In the background is Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl is from San Francisco. San Jose. San Jose. Something with Sam. And, um,. She was nice enough to drive us around. She's a friend of Riona's. And uh, tomorrow is West Fantasy. I'm just doing one day. As a snitch, I'll just film lots of stuff since it'll be just a couple of minutes, like a full hour on the pitch tops. I'm snitching three times and I'll just try and entertain you guys. After that, we head over to Vancouver. So this will be a West Fantasy uh, vlog and then probably our arrival at Vancouver. I'm very much looking forward to seeing my fellow Griffins. I've missed them tons. Hi. We are in LA in Dan Hansen's house, Dan the man, cool ass guy, and this is how an entire living room filled with footage videos looks like. Yay! The entire room is literally filled. Every couch, every piece of available carpet, we even bought air mattresses. <laughs> this is how West Fantasy looks like. One team dressed in Grey like concrete for the solid defense, the other team dressed in the blood of their enemies. And then there's me. Snitch mode. Hi. How hot is it today? It's really hot. I haven't even played and I'm already like my skin is crying. Yeah, but you're Dutch, so you burn a lot and That's you cry true. a lot. Look at the sun. Yeah. Bright. Bright as fuck, isn't it? Go Gorik. Go snitch the fuck out of those teams. <laughs> Have I mentioned them in snitch mode? I know, right? <laughs> Hi, August. Hi. How was it? A lot better than I thought it would be. I've never done handicap before, so that was really fun. Okay, cool. Have you? Uh, how long have you been snitching? Um, I mean, I would snitch in practice and stuff when I first started playing, but I didn't like full-time snitch until about a year ago. Okay. Cool. In the meanwhile, August is very comfortably stripping in front of us. What uh, you doing in front of the camera. For all the Belgians back home, because August, this is a vlog for the Belgian Griffins, the national oh, nice. team from Belgium for the Global Games. Uh, today is a game without off-pitch seeking. Um, how did you feel about that? Are you? Um, it was it tense or it was cool or what happened? It definitely was different because I've never done that before. Um, in a way, it was better for everyone because we're not tired because from all the running around. But it does take an element of the fun out of the game because you know, so much of it is like, oh, you get to hide during the first 15 minutes or you get to run around, and so it was kind of lame. But overall, I think it, it, it worked well. All right, cool. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody? Uh, Filming while they're stitching. No, did you do that? Would you like to see it? Yeah, I'll okay. do it in the next game. All right, sweet. Cool <laughs> See that that's a power of Australia that is uh, Team Australia, ones we'll be facing at Global Games, amongst others. And we're kind of subtly, unsubtly spying on them, trying to scout them out. They've never played together, which is why they're uh, here at West Fantasy, playing as a team to, I guess, work up their team dynamic. <laughs> Typical Quidditch sportsmanship. Seekers getting ready, Snitch getting ready. One ten red team and there's a butt in my way. Can you go the way, random butt? Thank you. Twenty for Australia. Yes, of course. Sorry. We are here uh, off the pitch with Team Australia. Uh, really cool people. We have Damien, 
James. And Hannah. The captain, one of the chasers, and a very skilled point chaser I have seen. Thank you. You're incredibly wiry. Like, <laughs> you do not give up. Yeah, it's all I got going for me. <laughs> where, do you, where do you get that strength? Uh, the problem is I have no physical strength. So I, I, I have to use yeah, every other like, uh, she, she carries that tenacity. She carries tenacity like a shield. And Coming a from the guy who tackles like a wall. Like, I've seen you take people down like a force of nature. That's pretty impressive. I like to make friends, physically. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there's a rugby player called the force of of nature and he kind of looks like you it's the beard isn't it it's, it's yeah kind of all the naturalists right here kind of as a captain um, how do you feel your team was performing today because I get that this was one of your first games as yeah. a team so first game of the day like we've all come from different teams and stuff it just lacked a bit of chemistry and defense and I mean we're just gonna get better as the day goes out okay well, how are you feeling uh, about global games yeah, I mean, we've got a week to work on it. We've got a couple of scratch matches in between. We're going to fine tune our things, get our lineups right, and I think, I think we've got a good shot of going, taking it up to all the other teams. Are we going to be seeing good things uh, from uh, Team Australia Definitely. today at West Fantasy? Definitely. Um, we're hoping to make it to day two and hopefully uh, play some more games tomorrow. Okay, Kikaz, I look forward to it. Thank you. Snitch booty! Snake it. Say, I mean, shake it. His booty is so intense, it's fucking up my language. <laughs> that is called balance. Amazing. <laughs> Don't get no